guys, the second semi-final jury show has just ended here in Wiener Stadthalle, and I know y'all have some major opinions about the acts. I'm gonna kick it off by saying that Latvia's Eminata Sabadogo slayed the pack. She was giving us, once again, Burkina Faso realness. She stood on her platform, she belted it out. The press room went silent. There were skeptics who were sitting around, they were like, what is this? But then when she belted out that first chorus, they stopped talking. This was amazing. I think the jury is really gonna respond well to this. It had energy, it had life, and the camera cutouts, it was so quick, 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 changing between different shots. It created a really otherworldly vibe. I thought I was on Uranus. Beyond the vision, she was super, super duper amazing. My only fear is that she has a lot of wide-angled shots, which, judging by this flag-waving business, can get ruined. Today wasn't so bad because it's a rehearsal, so they're hardcore Eurovision fans, but like, I, I'm just a bit worried for the semi-final that, you know, a lot of the, because she really, silhouettes are very important to her um, performance, and, but you know what, the shots on the TV screen were quite far away and angled, so it avoided that problem for that reason. There was a Swiss flag which was prominently in her viewfinder. Who okay. doesn't want to be an Aminata Sabadogo? I think it was the only truly goosebump moment of the night. And one thing that I noticed is our cameraman Sammy Lukele was before the song, he's like, I hate this. And then by the end, he was singing along. So I think that says a lot. I loved it. I thought, I, I don't know whether she'll win the, with the jury. I think she'll be very high up. I think there are a lot of songs that are going to be high up with the jury. I think Norway probably have one with the jury because I think that was, I thought that was stunning. That was the best they've ever done it. Um, but so is Norway your highlight then of the semi I, I probably would say like overall I love Aminata more than I love Norway so I would probably put that as my favourite but I think the, the jury will probably go for Norway over Latvia because Latvia I think I think there will be things where people don't get Latvia and if, uh, if somebody doesn't get Latvia they'll put that right at the bottom of their list 16th, 17th and that can throw everything out with the juries Norway nobody's going to rank that lower than like 4th or 5th no, you'd have thought but the juries have to take staging into account and Latvia's staging far surpasses Norway. Like they're in these white costumes that just don't work. I, Porik, I completely agree. The other thing I, I need to say this is that if, law, if Norway isn't saved tomorrow, there is no point having a panel of music experts. Why have jury account for 50% of the scoring if they don't save decent entries. I mean, then clearly they're not no doing their job. Qualified. You know, know what? Know. There is a goosebump moment from me, coming from Norway, Norveg, is when going up to that part, you know, two and a half minutes in where they start shouting and like there's the pyrotechnics and they're walking around. That is a goosebump moment. It's one of the highlights of Eurovision 2015. I slightly disagree. I think the staging here in Vienna is considerably weaker than Melody Grand Prix. There was no smoke. I like the spinning camera that was kind of circling them. That was absent. It was a bit lackluster. I mean, I love the Norwegian entry and it's really, really good. But I think the staging is a bit of a letdown. And I'm sorry. And what's that white cape she's got on? It's so... It really is just... It's, it's cheap. It's, cheap mm. it? it's tacky. The staging is tacky. It's going to qualify, but it's, they've done damaged their chances of winning. Tacky. Yes. Tacky. I don't know what show y'all were watching, but there is this moment, the backlight, it's almost like a fire's coming out. It's a really softly lit glow. Do you know what I'm talking about? That gives me goosebumps. That gives me chills. That gives me thrills. I am completely in your camp on this. Let's move on before we punch each other. <laughs> Credit has to be given to Lithuania for opening the show. I thought it was a very good opener, considering the Moldova did the last one, which I... I actually preferred the Moldova yeah, opening to this one. I think this is just, it's cheesy. You know, I've really come up and down and up and down with this one, and I've gone back down. I know they had a same-sex kiss. That's quite nice. It just Be it, before, though, now. After 30 seconds, I was bored. Just like a rock. I think they've gone down in my estimation. I was a fan of the song before, and it seemed flat tonight. And the spontaneity is gone, and the spark is missing. I think. And Monica wasn't uh, that wasn't great at the start either. It just it just feels very flat. Um, and the whole thing where Vida shouts or what is it like? Oh yeah, come on, Vienna. Cringe. It's just cringe. Now, Porg, who is one of your standouts? Golden Boy by by um, Nadab from Israel. Like I thought it was too cheesy, but I think that's that. It's 
south and Belgium are the ones that have come along the most since we've reached Vienna and like the whole press room was clapping their hands and cheering and I think it's a real party moment. And from moment one, I don't know if you noticed this, but it opens with a kind of downward cone of fire. You can feel the heat. <laughs> Maybe you could. I mean, it, 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 How you pass it, you go? honestly, uh, give me Montenegro magical folklore. I love that. The staging was very faithful to what Serbia and Montenegro have presented over the years. So there was a kind of a historical reference to it. It felt quite empirical in in a body of work. And you know, the blues and the red tones, the the, the black mountains. I think it's magical. Can I just make a point? By um, faithful to Serbia Montenegro, do you mean it's staged like every single Zelchko Joksimovic song ever made? I think there were hues of it. I wouldn't <laughs> say that it was a, a complete, you know, duplication. I think there were hues of it. I think it's beautiful to reference because, you know, Eurovision is also about a body of work, 60 years of Eurovision. So, you know, 10 years of uh, Montenegrin participation and seeing that, you know what, that entry comes from Montenegro. That's all well and good, but if you're a 16 year old girl at home voting in three minutes, you ain't thinking about 60 years of bulk and blah blah. You're thinking, do I like the song? And I've got to give you credit. In the replay, I did stop when it came back on. They've chosen a very effective clip and it draws you in. I, I definitely think he's qualifying, but I don't I don't think that he's gonna qualify like eighth or ninth. I don't think that he's gonna be like massively in the hunt for the top ten or anything. It's a good song. Portugal who won't qualify, let's just put it out there. Oh god. Now now y'all, let's talk about the Swedish elephant in the room, Mon Zomerlove. What were your thoughts? Okay, so obviously he had issues. He what he missed his mark so that the projection actually hit his right shoulder, so the gnome man was kind of hitting him. He was vocally fine. He was he did he, it was effectively apart from that slip up, it was Heroes, and Heroes is, in my opinion, a great song and a Eurovision winning song. But this was the first time we've ever seen him slip up and it was at an important stage. If that happens again in the jury final on, on Saturday, because he's qualifying, if it happens in the grand final. And just to clarify, he was off center at the butterfly moment where he's supposed to have wings. He was off center when he does that and he was also off center when the gnome explodes and it was really quite noticeable it, it, it testifies to how you have to be so precise and on, in that act because it's so so detailed he managed to get the crowd behind him though so that was a good thing I think and the song is definitely going to qualify but I don't think he can afford to slip up again Man Samalu is pop perfection and I think that that's also what kills it in a way I mean I, I, I can't watch that over and over again and what is rather unfortunate for me is that it's a copy and paste for Melody Festival and so actually if you've been to stop him to see that by now it's a kill me now moment but you know lots of uh, our readers well actually no our readers would have seen him at Melody Festival but lots of people at home you've only got three minutes so it's a fresh three minutes it's not all bad news I've got to say there are some shots where he goes like this and it comes quite close and that's quite new and I think in those moments he really draws you in and it's not just because he's attractive it's because you feel his soul, you feel his, I don't know, his grit, his he beauty. He is attractive. Though. He is hot! <laughs> Alright. I, I think there's a big mid pack in this semi final where there are songs that will qualify but aren't, weren't massively impressive. Azerbaijan, barely any reaction in the press room, really. Compared with the reaction to Israel and the reaction to Latvia, it kind of feels a bit like they've shot themselves in the foot again with the staging. Like, it's, it, it, it didn't really really worked to begin with. They haven't changed it that much. It's very, very distracting away from Elna, who gave probably his best vocal performance so far, but it was so distracting and the camera focuses way too much on them. It's very Cirque du Soleil actually, and it takes away from the song, because if it was just him on stage singing with an LED, I think I'd prefer that to all this action that's going on. I don't know where to look, I don't know how to focus, and when the female dancer uses the male dancer as a vault, I'm worried her hip is going to fall off. It makes me uncomfortable. It's too distracting, and yeah, Chris is right. Um, there was actually a rapturous applause at the beginning when he has that really high note. 
But then, actually, when he did leave the stage, it was a bit like roll on the next one. What I will say, though, Melanie Renee, you've got to give her a marker of progress. She turned it up. A song I didn't like to a song that now I'm actually rooting for. And the performance and the staging, she just looks so beautiful. I love the tension between the R&B sound and the ball gown. It's like, I'm going to give you old world, new world realness, mix it up, pro it down. Yeah, but I still think that if she does qualify, it'll be 9th or 10th. Because the song, the staging is what makes this song. And she performs with great gusto as well, but it's still an average song. And there was, there was one issue I noticed. So the steam jets that come out with that smoke right in the final chorus, actually you couldn't hear the vocal because that was so loud and it was really distracting. That last 30 seconds of the song were completely lost on the actual screen that we heard and that's what the jury will hear. Now, and, uh, actually, just one thing. Obviously, Portugal were saying they're not going to qualify. We don't know. She could absolutely turn it out. And and you, you do that face. Who? You do that Portugal. 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 She's got to perform again. So for anybody, I think you're wants, hallucinating. But you, no, 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 no. You you all say this. Roberto Bellarosa, in all of his rehearsals, but he had a good song. He had. Uh, no. Okay, let's. No. can we move on from this point, actually? Okay. Checkmate. So, Czech Republic. I've got to say, I wasn't feeling this as much as I have been during rehearsals. I just, I don't feel it worked. Something was missing. It just, she throws off her shoes, and I actually think it kills the moment, because it's a very romantic ballad in a way, and then she takes off her shoes, and it's almost comical, and it takes me out of the mood. I'm not convinced this will make the final. No, I, I, I preferred it in the earlier impressions. I think now, and it's actually quite boring. Ring, you know, because you know, there just isn't much to capture you. It, it, it relies too much on just the two of them. Yeah. I don't think the song is good enough. Like, it's the performers' personalities that's going to get them through. Because the, the song is just very weak, and like, I don't like it at all. I'm sorry, Cyprus is not going to the final. Yes, they are. No, I, I don't like the song, but that I think that will qualify. No. I, I, well, in, in what on what planet? I just think that it's a very there's nothing quite like it. There's no I can't think Buggy. of any what Buggy has a kind of no, 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 similar no, down pace song with much which better qualifies. staging. With much better and staging. Molly Sterling isn't too dissimilar. And her staging is far superior. Molly Sterling slays the pack. I'm sorry, this is one of my top three. I know y'all think I'm crazy. She is giving giving us atmosphere, she's giving us mood, she's giving us a voice, she's giving us youth, she's giving us, it's the total passion. She's too nervous, I think. But you know what, that vulnerability is her strength. In a sea of divas, you want to see someone who is real and authentic, who is letting it hang out. I like her emotion, it reflects the song. If you say something bad about your country woman, I'm going to cut you. But she's almost afraid of the camera. Yeah. And even at the start, when there's the roll call of countries, they're all like, oh, but Molly's like running to get away from the camera as quickly as possible. I was at the Vienna state opera where Molly Sterling actually performed and I have to say I was so moved and blown away. I shared that moment with Horik. But on the Eurovision stage, she leaves me cold. Can I, have you seen that movie, She's All That? Yeah. The awkward girl becomes the prom queen. Eat it. All right. What about my girl, Marteka? Oh my god, your girl, Marteka, Slovenia. I've got to say, there were aspects of this I really liked. I liked her face. They, they pan in on her face and they quickly move from angle to angle. That's effective. I thought Ray was kind of cheesy with all of this. It kills the mood for me. Oh, uh, yeah, I, there's some great cuts, the cuts between the violinist, the wide shot, Mayetka, to get it right. Your girl Marteka? <laughs> My girl Mayetka, yeah. Um, they work really well, but Ray feels a bit like an, like the guy that, he should have done Adonis Han and not be on stage. This is qualifying, I think, but I think any hopes of it winning are gone. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, though, Porik? I, I was in the arena. Azerbaijan had a very lackluster, lukewarm reception. Slovenia was the same. Actually, almost nobody responded. And that happened this, af that happened this afternoon. Yo, this is a TV contest. The people in the arena, frankly, it doesn't matter as much. It's how it is cut on the television. And on the television, it looked quite nice, bar all of this. All right. 
who else is in this semifinal? Which Iceland. And we've got Malta also. The, you know, I thought Iceland vocally was amazing. The Swedish delegation was sitting opposite us, and they like stopped what they were doing and were kind of admiring her vocals. And that says a lot because it's Sweden. She was on point. I thought. I think it's grown and grown um, as the weeks gone on. Because at first she was all awkward and like I was. I didn't believe that she was a power diva, but now I believe it. She is a power pixie. Yeah, and the staging is excellent. She's fighting for the lower rankings too. I mean, she is in that pool of Switzerland, Malta. Um, you know, she's in that pool of, you know, seventh to tenth. It's, it's really hard to predict the semi-final, um, but I'm going to ask you to do that right now. I think we all agree that Slovenia, Sweden, Azerbaijan, Latvia, Israel, Norway, Montenegro. Ooh, okay. So that's a, the a six. The six, and then the Montenegro is going to qualify, whether you like it or I not. Think Montenegro I think Montenegro qualify. So who are your other four? The borderline four. Looking forward to seeing you. Borderline. Uh, I've got, I've got my four. I think. So I would say Montenegro will qualify. I think Malta will qualify. I think that Cyprus will qualify, and I think by the skin of her teeth. The um, Iceland will qualify. No Switzerland. I love Melanie Renee, but I, I think that the steam jets ruined it. And actually, maybe Poland. No, not Poland. Poland. We haven't discussed it. Oh, you know, it's interesting. It is touching. No, it is touching. It's like it's a touching. tampon advert. I mean, tampons are necessary. <laughs> Women have to use them. So it's like, it's essential to your development. I've got to say, I was moved with the cutaways. The cutaway, the, the, the picture of the screen where she is dancing really works. That, that, that'll that work really well on TV. I, I liked it. I liked Poland. I really did. You know, but then I don't know whether I'm responding to the performance or the full package. It's such a downer to end the semi final. No it's uplifting, Corey. It's, it's not it uplifting. Is uplifting. They're cherry blossoms. So. <laughs> So let's have your four. Who are your four borderline qualifiers? Seven Ireland, Switzerland. I think Iceland are actually safe. I don't think they're borderline. And I don't know Malta or Montenegro. Even though I don't like Montenegro. You know I don't like Lithuania, but they've qualified with far worse. So I'm gonna say Lithuania. I'm gonna say Ireland because the juries are gonna love it. No, the juries will love it. Boogie already. They're not gonna have enough. But it's a different set of juries. No, it's the same. Okay, back to me. I'm going Lithuania, I'm going Ireland, I'm going Switzerland. And I'm gonna go Poland. I think it will go through. I think that tugging on hard strings is always effective. I'm not concerned with the losers. All I'm saying is that Latvia needs to go through, Norway needs to go through, Azerbaijan needs to go through, Montenegro needs to sail on. Lithuania will qualify. Sweden, most and certainly. The very last country that made it to the Yeah, top. I think Israel is actually borderline. I don't think it's as certain as you're saying. Israel, I hated that song, and that is qualifying. Visually, this actually won the night for me. Visually, it was fun. It was simple. The dancing, the overhead shots, the dancing, the choreography is silly, but it's never kitsch. It is so engaging. Israel. It is beyond kitsch. It, it is, is not kitsch. No, 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 no. They just fake qualified as well. 